Today, we've got some exciting news about the much anticipated Galaxy S25 Ultra, but not all of it is good. So grab your popcorn, because we're diving into the latest rumors surrounding Samsung's flagship phone. Let's start with the juicy details. According to renowned leaker Roland Quant, parts production for the Galaxy S25 series has officially begun. This is significant news because it suggests that Samsung is ahead of its usual schedule. Can you believe it? For the Galaxy S24 family, parts production only kicked off in November last year. Now, does this mean an earlier launch for the Galaxy S25? Well, that's still up in the air, but it does show that Samsung is gearing up for action much sooner than we might have expected. Now, onto the display details. Ice Universe, another prominent insider, claims that the Galaxy S25 Ultra's display will boast improvements across the board. We're talking brightness, viewing angles, and color accuracy. Sounds promising, right? This leads Ice Universe to theorize that the S25 Ultra will incorporate the new M14 display technology, which is also used in the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. If this turns out to be true, it gives Samsung a competitive edge over Apple. But wait, not everyone agrees with this assessment. Display analysts like Ross Young and Tim Sergio suggest that the Galaxy S25 Ultra might stick with the M13 display material, just like the S24 Ultra. Why this decision? Well, some inside sources say that Samsung is looking to keep costs under control with their flagship. They're worried that the added costs associated with AI capabilities in smartphones could push prices to uncomfortable levels for consumers. That's a solid point. When manufacturers integrate AI features, it means they need high-performance chips, more memory, and additional storage, all of which add to production costs. Now, while the M14 OLED panel is indeed Samsung's top-performing display, Offering not just enhanced brightness, but also improved lifespan, the M13 still packs quite a punch. It's been a reliable choice, and given the rumors, it looks like Samsung may just stick with it for the S25 Ultra. So what about the size of the displays? Here's what we know. The base model of the Galaxy S25 will feature a 6.16-inch screen. The Plus model will have a 6.66-inch display, and the Ultra model will rock a 6.86-inch panel. While these sizes remain consistent with what we've seen this year, many fans are likely hoping for a significant upgrade. Now, this possibly disappointing news regarding the display technology seemed to represent a trend with Samsung. Historically, Apple tends to showcase even-numbered OLED panels, while Samsung and many Chinese competitors lean towards odd-numbered materials. It appears each generation of material gets utilized for two consecutive years. So if you were hoping for the latest tech in the Galaxy S25 Ultra, you might need to manage your expectations a bit. Now on the flip side, sticking with the M13 could help Samsung keep their prices in check, which could be beneficial for a broader audience. So to wrap it up, while it seems like we're in for some incremental improvements with the Galaxy S25 Ultra, it's clear that Samsung is making strategic decisions as they gear up to launch. Until we get more concrete details, it's all just speculation. What are your thoughts on these rumors? Are you excited for the Galaxy S25 Ultra, or are you feeling a bit let down by the display tech? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving, with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market, and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen, developed in partnership with Wacom, is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button. 
which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new camera control button. This physical key equipped with a capacitive surface allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably. But the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side. Battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, 
offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.